Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Last two days, I have been garage sailing like a madman. I went to 38 garage sales in the last two days, and only five of them were not in my zip code. Now, you guys, if you follow me, you know I live in a small town. It's only 4,600 people. So I was all through town. I was out in the rural areas of the farms, some of the Amish places, Mennonite places. Um, and I got a lot of stuff here, and I'm gonna make a lot of money. And I've got some good lessons for you on how to read the sale. Ready? Okay, so we'll start with box lots. You hear me talk about box lots at auctions, but sometimes I find them at garage sales too. I paid $1 for this entire box of cookbooks. Um, looking through it, most of them are junk, but uh, this one right here is ranked 375,000, sells for 11 bucks, which doesn't sound great in books, but this is very small and light, so the payout is like five. So there, right there is my money, and there might be more money in here too, I don't know. Paid $10 for this entire box full of CDs. Almost all of them are still factory sealed. Um, there's some wrap, there's some rock, uh, should be some good money there. Pay $10 for all these cassettes. That big box underneath is full of cassettes. These three cases are full of cassettes. There's some rock, there's some country, um, and I've been selling cassettes recently for really good money, so $10 was a good deal. Board games and puzzles. My goodness, I have a lot of them. Look at the Sesame Street Busy Builders Playtown. Is that cool? I paid a dollar for that. Uh, no comparables that I could find, but I think the date on is like 1980. So, you know, the nostalgia factor will drive that price up. CSI is still sealed. Paid $2. That'll sell for $35. Um, oh, I really like this Norman Rockwell puzzle back here. Let me pull this up for you so you can see it. Ah, isn't that cool? My goodness, Norman Rockwell will sell well. Um, anyway, most of these puzzles here uh, have decent rank on Amazon, and they sell for 20 25 30 bucks. some of them. Um, yes, even in opened and used condition. The Tetris handheld game is actually junk. Does not sell well. So I wasted a dollar. Big deal. Not going to cry about it. Got a Melissa and Doug board puzzle, sound puzzle. You pull up the, uh, the animal and it makes a noise. Not very good sales history, but you know what? I got my first grandbaby coming soon, so maybe that will go to him. Okay, check these out. Seen it expansion packs paid five dollars for the regular pack that sells for 30 on Amazon paid five dollars for the Disney and yes in used condition paid five dollars for the Disney and lowest on Amazon right now is ninety eight dollars yay Jeff look at these cool cool McDonald's collectibles this is dated 2000 paid a dollar a piece for those there's a listing on Amazon with no sellers there's no sales history on eBay so you know what that means that means I have no competition I can price this sucker in the stratosphere um, I'm thinking maybe 50 60 maybe even 75 bucks we'll see how it goes uh, Conair reflections lighted makeup mirror that is new in package paid three dollars but the box is kind of beat up uh, so I'll probably put it on eBay there's recent solds on eBay at thirty dollars Okay, got some Sims CD-ROMs. I will actually give those to my 14-year-old daughter. She really likes the Sims. Uh, anything she doesn't want, I'll see if I can sell it. Okay, when you guys see DVDs at garage sales or wherever, always look at British TV shows, these BBC shows. My goodness, there's a lot of money here. Every one of these is still factory sealed. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Recent solds of Father Brown individual discs are 25 to 30 bucks each. And I only paid 50 cents. What happened? What do you think is going to happen when I put all of these together in one lot? That's a couple hundred dollars there easily. Okay, paid 25 cents for this TI-30X. That is actually junk. Does not sell. Big deal. Wasted 25 cents. Not going to cry about that either. Paid 25 cents for the TI-84 Plus, And that is not junk. Last week, I sold two TI-84 Plus for $60. They sold the same day I listed them. I will also list this for $60, and it will sell the same day, and I will celebrate. Yes, I will. Okay, this is a lot of new inbox stuff. Um, there's been a lot of discussion in the group recently about new inbox stuff at garage sales. Yes, I find it all the time. $10 for the Cook's Slow Cooker. That'll sell for $35 on Amazon. Hamilton Beach Glass Kettle. Paid $20, sells for $60 on Amazon. Rank is $8,000 in kitchen. That will sell fast. Paid uh, 40 for the power pressure cooker, sells for 150 on Amazon. Paid 50 for the new wave infrared oven, sells for 320 on Amazon. No lie. Also new in package, three dollars for Bob Vila's Plumber Secret, sells for 20 on eBay. Also new in package, uh, ventilation fan, paid five, sells for 20 on eBay. Time wheel, paid two, sells for 20 on eBay. All this stuff is new in package, all of it. Okay, there's a lot of money at garage sales, guys. My goodness. All right, let's get away from new stuff and go to vintage stuff. I really thought these were cool. 
It's kind of a neat green color, and uh, the brand is Fire King, which I recognize is a good brand in, um, in glassware. Uh, the thing is, if these were jadeite, they would be worth a lot of money, but actually they're milk glass. That's what the white on the inside here makes it milk glass. Um, so they really don't sell very well. I paid $2 a piece for them. Um, I will recoup my investment, maybe make a little bit, but not a whole lot. Oh, well, big deal. Plus, I learned, still not going to cry about that either. Look at these beautiful colors. My goodness, I only paid a dollar for that. That'll easily go for 25, 30 bucks. Paid $5 for the pretty Robin. He will also go for 25 or 30. My goodness. And look at these salt pepper shakers. Aren't those pretty with the gold and everything? I only paid two bucks for that. That'll easily go for 25. The Chivas Regal jar I thought was pretty cool. Paid two dollars for that. Could not find any comps on it. But, uh, you know, vintage um, liquor stuff, themed stuff, does uh, pretty well usually. And I really like this Pyrex. The Starburst pattern is really cool. Paid, 20, or paid two for that. That'll go for probably 25 or so. Aluminum, you guys know, I'm always, always looking at aluminum. This Regal pot right here, one of these sold yesterday for $100. I paid three. I got three um, camping coffee pots here. Uh, paid $8 for the Wherever Drippolator, sells for $30. Paid $2 for the West Bend Quick Drip and a dollar for West Bend Quick Drip. Those will go for $30 each. Look at this thing, Salad Master. Paid $12 for that. One of these sold this week on eBay for $100. No lie. Okay. Let's go back here to books before we move on too much. Well, let's go to records first, okay? I got a few records here. Frank's Not to Christmas. Got some soundtracks. Um, got some Eagles. Those should do pretty well. Got a Happy Hound Hammock. Paid eight. That will go for 50 on Amazon. Got some books here. F.W. Dixon. There's some good sales history on eBay. These are Ted Scott Flying Stories. That sounds kind of fun. I got three of them here. I think I'll probably lot them together for eBay. Um, got a couple of Bibles and... Uh, Old Bible study stuff. Okay, business books. Always look at business books. My goodness, this sells for 25 with a decent rank on Amazon. This sells for uh, 30. This sells for 40. Honestly, always look at business books. I got Spot's book box because I thought it was cute, and I remember reading Spot to my kids when they were little. Um, not a very good seller, so that might go to my grandson also. He's going to be one spoiled boy. Okay, here's more new inbox. Uh, paid $7 a piece for these, and they sell for 21 on Amazon. Also new inbox, Pampered Chef. Whipped Dream Maker paid eight, sells for 45 on Amazon. Also new in box, Feathered Fun Wall Mount Activity Center paid $5 for that, sells for 50 on Amazon. This is not new in box, but is a vintage KitchenAid. I paid $40 for this. One of these sold this week on eBay for 250. But you know what? I have a KitchenAid and the motor is going out on it. So I might keep this one and part out the one that I currently have. This I thought was really pretty. Look at the designs here. Osterizer only sells for 20 bucks. So not a big seller, but I only paid two, so no big deal. Well-built bread maker paid $5. Uh, recent sold on eBay, 59. Um, but this may be worth more parting it out because the paddle just sold this week for 30 bucks alone. This is called a wing song monitor. You put it out in your yard and then you put a speaker inside. You get to listen to the birds without getting stung by mosquitoes. Um, I only paid a dollar for it. A uh, couple of solds on eBay for 29. Got a printer, got a box of phones here. I did not pay 10, I only paid five for these. Um, they sell for about 10 bucks a piece on eBay. And I think there's like six of them in there. All right, got a cover for iPhone 6, paid two, that'll sell for 20. CD player, paid three, that'll sell for 30. Typewriters, you guys know I love typewriters, especially the colored ones. Look at these bright colors, aren't they beautiful? I paid $10 for this Remington Streamliner, recent sold on eBay, um, $80. Paid five for this beautiful green royal. Recent sold on eBay, 100. Paid nothing for the Smith Corona Memory Correct. It was free. Recent sold on eBay, 60. Okay, I got a box full of computer stuff here. Um, and I honestly don't know what a lot of this stuff is. There's like, you know, circuit boards and stuff. Um, I'm just going to have to research them by like the numbers and, and stuff, whatever's printed on it. Um, but there's six of these dvd players and uh several recent solds on ebay at 50 bucks a piece okay this video recorder has a listing on amazon with a good rank and no sellers at all i only paid 35 bucks for all of this right here and those right there six of those at 50 that's 300 bucks right there my goodness okay uh so one of the sales that i went to was not well i went to several amish sales but um one of them i went to was an amish sale uh, in fact that's where i got the uh the lots of cassettes and cds that i showed you um, so what do the Amish not have? Electricity. 
So what are they not going to know the value of? Computer stuff, especially vintage Apple computer stuff. These are all sealed. All three of these are sealed. I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Several sold listings on eBay at $100 each. That's another 300 bucks right there. 25 cents for this. Recent sold on eBay, $29. This is also from an Amish sale, paid $2, um, recent sold, like this week, recent sold on eBay, in used condition, 100 bucks. This is a corner rounder, I guess it rounds your corners for you, I guess, I don't know. Paid five bucks for that, recent sold on eBay, 60. Okay, um, these chairs came from a moving sale. Now when you're at a moving sale, um, you guys hear me talk a lot, here, let me, let me talk to you. You guys hear me talk a lot about um, talking to the people at the sale, getting an idea of why they're doing the sale, um, getting an idea of who they are, okay? So like when I'm at Amish sales, you know, they don't understand a lot of computer stuff and high electronic stuff, so those will be priced very cheaply. But they will have high prices on things like cookbooks, um, sewing materials, things like that. So I usually don't get those kinds of things at Amish uh, places. Or you go to a place where a guy has a bunch of hunting stuff out, you know, he's a hunter, he knows the value of it. That stuff sometimes is, is priced really high and he'll have other stuff that's not priced so high. Okay, so just get an idea of who you're dealing with and what they know, okay? So like I said, at moving sales, you know people are gonna be ready to negotiate because they're gonna move and the stuff they have out for sale, they're gonna have to dump it somewhere or pay for storage. They don't wanna do that. So. All that to say, that's when you know you can negotiate. These chairs, um, these chairs are a uh, Haywood brand, and if you are of a certain age like me, you recognize sitting on these when you were in school. And that's exactly what these are. These are school chairs, um, plastic and chrome. They were marked five bucks a piece. I offered him 15 for all four of it. He took it. Uh, recent solds on eBay, $35 each. Uncertain whether I'm gonna list them individually or as a lot of four. I think that could be fun. Got a couple sewing machines, paid $10 for the Kenmore, uh, still in box, has a lot of accessories with it, along with the pedal and the, uh, the shield. Um, recent sold on eBay, 80 bucks plus shipping. Paid $30 for the Brother, also has the pedal and the box. Recent sold on eBay, $250 plus shipping. Goodness, guys, that's my haul. I believe I paid... I think my total bill was only around 300 bucks this time. And you know what? There's 300 right there. And there's another 300 right there. And there's another 100. And there's another 250 right there, right? Here's another 100 right there. Good heavens. Here's another 100 right here, the Salad Master. There's another 250, the KitchenAid. There's another 100, that pot. Good heavens. Here's another 300 there. There's another 150 here. Guys, if you are not... There's another 100 here on the Disney Scene It. Guys, if you are not doing garage sales, I don't understand why not. Seriously, leave me some comments. Let me know what you are finding in your sourcing. 